Hey guys, what's up? I've got some really awesome news for Woodering Waves. The developers have just revealed the patch notes for version 1.2 that's coming in less than 10 days. And in version 1.2, we are going to be getting a free 5 star character. This is amazing. In this video, I'm going to show you everything we know so far about version 1.2. Starting with the new characters, Zezi, I have no idea how to pronounce this, will be our newest 5 star Glacio Rectifier unit. She's going to be on the limited banner on the first phase of version 1.2. And then for the second phase of version 1.2, the developers have just told us that we're going to receive a new free 5 star character. This new 5 star character is called Jiang Li Yao. And it is indeed a 5 star Electro Gauntlets character. I'm really looking forward to get a new 5 star Electro character on my account. In 1.2 we're also getting this new wave plate storage system. This new feature will allow us to store excess wave plate. Once we reach the wave plate cap, the rest of it is going to be turned into wave plate crystals. These crystals can be exchanged for wave plate equivalents on a 1 to 1 ratio. You'll be able to regenerate one wave plate crystal every 12 minutes up to 480. Once this limit is reached, no more wave plate crystals will be gained. And this is actually great because we can finally store some of the wave plate. Say for example, you go offline for two days, right? And then when you come back, you'll be able to use more than 240 energy. We're also going to receive a new utility gadget called Hoverdroid Shooter. This new gadget will shoot objectives and it's added to the game to ease the need of switching between teams when there are no pistol using resonators available for challenges like Photon Vault and similar puzzles. In version 1.2 you'll be able to use the new Hoverdroid shooter utility just by slotting it into your utility wheel. To shoot with the Hoverdroid simply tap or hold the basic attack button. Another new feature we're getting in 1.2 is the Resonator Showcase. You can view and display the convened scenes of unlocked resonators with the Resonator Showcase feature. And there you can display up to three selected resonators. That's amazing. I'm looking forward to put my three favorite characters to showcase with my friends. And before we end up the video, let me quickly take you through the quality of life changes we're receiving in 1.2. We're getting a new custom lock on feature. You'll be able to access in settings under control. This option allows you to set the auto lock on priorities for enemies based on your combat preferences. Next on the list is the 120 FPS option update. To be honest, I'm also looking forward for this as better graphics are always a good thing for me. Other quality of life changes and updates are in the depths of Illusion Realm store, the rewards will be updated and there will be more exchange items to the elusive store to help level up more resonators. And besides that, more guidebook activity points will be added in the daily quests. Activity points reward for the spend 180 wave plates daily quest will be increased from plus 20 to plus 60 to help you complete the dailies faster. Good news as usual. I'm looking forward for my free 5 star resonator Yang Li Yao. The developers have announced that every player will receive it for free. So hopefully you guys are as excited as I am. I hope you found this video helpful and thanks for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video and comment down below if you're going to main this new free 5 star electro character or if you're going to main Zazie. I hope I pronounced her name correctly. She looks pretty cute but I'm not sure how strong she'll be. Anyway guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.